dear professional friends how to apply for extension of agm annual general meeting with the roc now uh, yesterday roc has come with a new amendment that no extension of agm will be granted by 39 2020 so the company all the companies have to conclude their agm on asan 31st 30th september 2020 and there will not be any further additional uh, extension of time due to covid 19 situation so they it has a, sent a clear message roc has sent a clear message and we have to hold the all the companies now required to hold the agm by 30th september 2020 and those companies which do which are not able to can convene the agm within 30th september 2000 they have to apply roc for extension of time for uh, another three months by filing a form gnl1 so this video is going to describe about the procedures and uh, what precautions should be taken in filing this form the companies which are unable to hold their agm for the financial year ended 31st march 2020 need to file their application in form number gnl1 for seeking extension of time in holding of agm for the financial year ended 31st march 2020 with the concerned register of companies stakeholders shall take note that form gnl1 should be filed on or before 29 9 2020 and uh, one can seek extension only for 3 months that is one can only seek extension up to 31st december 2020 so you, you can ap- apply for extension only up to 31st december 2020 only 3 months will extension will be given to companies if they apply under form gnl1 by roc relevant roc the office of the mca had interalaya clarified wide general circular this of the mca had interalaya clarified wide general no- circular number 20 stroke 2020 dated may 2020 regarding holding of agm through video conferencing or other audio visual means oavm for the calendar year 2020 big extension for agm in addition the office of mca has issued general circular number 28 bar 2020 dated 17th august 2020 that is on on 3 days back 17th august 2020 allowing the companies which are unable to hold their agms or to file their application in form e form gnl1 for seeking extension of time in holding the agm for the financial year ended 31st march 2020 with the concerned register of companies on or before 29th september 2020 roc has to grant extension liberally the mca has also advised to the office of the registrars of companies by con- by co- to consider all such applications filed in form number gnl1 liberally in view of the hardships faced by the companies stakeholders and to grant extension for the period as applied for up to 3 months uh, in such application so whosoever apply with roc roc has no other option but to extend up to 31st december 2020 on valid reasons copy of the board resolution so what is the important documents to be annexed with the gnl e form gnl 1 requires copy of the board resolution on detailed application with the reasons seeking extension of agm as the attachment hence all companies are required to issue notice convening board meeting and accordingly convene convene the meeting of board of directors of the company before filing e form gnl 1 so all the companies have to now convene the board meeting for filing gnl 1 what attachment are to be annexed the board resolution passed with for the purpose of making an application for any of the documents as applicable as mentioned below detailed application is required to be attached in all the cases for filing any other information can be provided as an optional attachment what is the application 
should contain what the application should contain in case the extension of annual general meeting the detailed application should contain the valid following reasons period for which extension is re- extension is required note it should not exceed 3 months email the uh, on processing the application the roc will send you an email uh, approval by under uh, friends please note that this is not under stp me- me- mode it has to approve by the relevant roc so a registrar of companies so whenever the com- uh, roc process the application he will send an is- email uh, informing the its decision to approve the same or not to the c- concerned stakeholders when an e form is processed by the authority concerned an acknowledgement of the same is sent to the user in the form as an e- in the form of an email to the email id of the company friends so if you want to extend your uh, company's agm till 31st december 2000 it is the right time to apply to uh, now you have to inform gnl1 to your to your roc jurisdiction and the roc will has to ap- approve it liberally friends If you want to file GNL1 I am ready to help you if you want my help please contact me thanking you once again RV Shagar practicing company secretary please don't forget to subscribe my channel thanking you very much